Arab Emirates. Uh, please, madam, if you can join us for your statement. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I take this opportunity to convey the greetings of the government and the people of the United Arab Emirates, the country of tolerance and happiness. The country to, around, to more than, and it is a home to more than 200 nationalities. A country that provides friendly and welcoming environment for its multicultural community for citizens, of citizens and residents. Since its inception, the country has supported equal rights for people of disabilities and has been keen to practice in the global movement to empower them on the educational, economical, and social level. The United Arab Emirates has succeeded and ratified the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. Its, committed to the convention clear, its commitment to the convention clearly reflects in its laws, ministeri and its ministerial decisions, and national policies. One of, uh, one of these uh, federal laws is an example of, um, that we use actually to support people with disabilities back at home, is the federal law um, in 2006 concerning the rights of people with disabilities, that which I outlines a wide range of rights and defines the ob uh, obligations of the ministries, institutions, and other government ent entities towards this very important file. As part of its effort towards safeguarding their rights, promoting their in integration, and ensuring their empowerment, the Ministry of Com Community Development is currently working on a comprehensive policy to protect persons with disabilities from abuse and neglect. In April uh, 2017, the government of the United Arab Emirates launched its the national policy for empowering people of disability, which is based on six main pillars. The policy aims to create a barrier-free, inclusive society that allows persons with disabilities and their families to lead fulfilling lives through developing an effective and a supportive system. To send a positive message to policy, making uh, policymakers uh, to the society. Um, there was a huge move uh, back then, one year ago, one, one year and, and like three months ago, where we have decided to change the name and the terminology of people of disability to people of determination. So back at home in the United Arab Emirates, we no longer call people of disability with this title, we call them people of determination. This title actually came from them and it is sent back to them. This is to support the families. This is also an indication of the strong motivation that um, they have to contribute and to create the future of their own. In recognition uh, of their right to work, the cabinet adopted a resolution to support the employment of people of determination and safeguard their rights at various stages of recruitment, employment, training, career, and we have made this um, easily by, um, by ensuring a platform. I think there's no much time left, but what I wanted to say again, uh, very importantly, is that um, a very important uh, event happening in the United Arab Emirates in March 2019, where the capital Abu Dhabi will be hosting um, the Special Olympics, um, the World Summer Games. Uh, we are expecting more than 7,000 athletes, representing more than 177 countries from all around, all around the world. Um, you might have heard that, uh, uh, Tim Shriver, earlier uh, in the plen plenary session talking about that. It also, uh, today, give, uh, also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great pleasure to introduce you to one of our um, uh, delegate members. Um, the delegation of the United Arab Emirates consists as well of uh, Dr. Ahmed Al Umran. Himself is a champion in his own way. He's an inspirational and an ideal uh, person. Mr. Al Umran is sitting in the front row. He's the first person with disability in the United Arab Emirates below the age of 40 to earn a PhD in international human rights law with a concentration in combating disability discrimination from the University of Sex, Sex, uh, Essex in London. He is the chairman to the um, Advisory Council of Persons with Disability that we hold back at home um, and of the Emirates Association for the Visually Unburied. 
Um, he used to work with us at the ministry a long time back, um, and right now he holds the post of senior consultant at the Department of Policy and Strategy on Sustainable Development in Dubai Executive Council. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for believing that we should not leave anyone behind. Thank, thank you. you very have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we have a last uh, speaker uh, I have in my list, Her Excellency Pauline Irene uh, Nugene, Minister of, Social, Minister of Social Affairs from 